a wandering samurai from Inazuma with a modest and gentle personality. Beneath a youthful and carefree demeanor lies a heart that hides many burdens from the past. Kaedahara Kazuha is a polite and well-spoken person. Compared to other noble Inazuma clan members, he prefers going out and traveling rather than staying put indoors. He once roamed Inazuma peacefully as a modest wanderer for a good portion of his life, teaching himself blade work and picking up other skills, never seeking luxury. He is instead easily pleased just by sleeping on a sun-warmed rock. The time he spends outdoors makes him attuned to nature and the wind, being able to hear and smell everything around him with absolute clarity. He can sense dangers, greet people, and track them down in an instant no matter how well they try to conceal it. Kazuha has a very poetic side to him. He enjoys penning haikus in his spare time and is easily inspired. However, he claims to not be especially talented at it. His most prized possession is his sword that he keeps with him at all times, a source of pride for Kazuha as both an Inazuman and a samurai. He is also incredibly fond of red maple leaves, finding them beautiful and enjoys seeing them rain during autumn. When unable to view such sights, he frequently collects and carries them as a memento to ease any homesickness. Kazuha hails from the Kayadahara clan, a noble samurai clan of notable fame in Inazuma and a subordinate branch of the Kamisato clan. Over 500 years ago, Kazuha's ancestor, Kaedahara Kagemitsu, became known as one of the three great masters of the Ishin art, one of the five most renowned bladesmithing practices in Inazuma. Fast forward to 100 years from the current Genshin timeline, Niwa Yoshinori was adopted by the head of the Kaedahara clan, where he became the clan head and the leader of the Ishin art. One day, swordsmiths of the Ishin art repeatedly failed to create an important blade using the Raiden Shogun's diagram and fled out of fear of punishment. Yoshinori and the head of the Kamisato clan began investigating the matter and realized that the diagram had likely been tampered with. They tracked down the perpetrator and found Kuni Kuzushi, the wanderer who now goes by Scaramouche, lying in wait. Scaramouche easily defeated the entire group and threatened to destroy the Raiden Gokuden. The Kaedahara clan decided to stop the family business and refused to pass down the Ishin art techniques. Kazuha's grandfather attempted to revive the Ishin art but failed Yoshinori's challenge of crafting the swords using the sabotage diagrams. Failing to pick up on Yoshinori's words about finding the secret within, Kazuha's grandfather grew enraged by Yoshinori's claim that the Ishin art deserved to fade away and departed to other lands in his fruitless attempt to reverse the family's ill fortune. He would not return until after Yoshinori had passed away, something which he came to regret. By the time Kazuha was born, the clan was on the verge of collapse, having almost no fortunes to inherit when the time came. Eventually, their house was repossessed by the authorities and the last attendant was dismissed. As the young master of the house and last son, Kazuha could do nothing but watch as his family's future crumbled around him. However, he breathed a sigh of relief. As far as he was concerned, this was a golden opportunity to begin leading a free and wandering life. Kazuha made many friends during his travels. One of them was particularly close to his heart, and for a time, the two journeyed together. But they too would part, for their destinations were different. To have met merely by chance and then form such a strong bond, there must be a faded connection between them. So, although they would part ways for now, surely they would meet again. Or so Kazuha thought. But something happened soon thereafter that would shatter his calm disposition. The Almighty Shogun declared the Vision Hunt Decree and swore to retrieve all visions. All who wielded them, including Kazuha, were stricken with panic, concealing their identities and going into hiding. It was then that Kazuha received shocking news. Someone had dared to call for a duel before the throne, and that someone was none other than Kazuha's friend. His duel would be with Kujo Sara, with the promise that the loser would face divine punishment from the Raiden Shogun herself. Even the normally calm Kazuha could not restrain himself. He drew his sword and stormed into the city like a whirlwind. When Kazuha arrived, it was too late. The duel was over and his friend had lost. From that moment on, the days of peaceful wanderings were over, and Kazuha's life became an unending series of battles. With almost no time to rest, Kazuha was constantly attacked in an attempt to take away his vision. Some time later, Beidou took in Kazuha as a temporary crew member onto her ship, the Crux, allowing him to finally escape his pursuers. 
Beto holds a reoccurring martial arts tournament in order to uncover hidden talent in Liyue. Kazuha asked Beto to have his friend's master's vision as a reward for the tournament in order to try and find someone who could use it. Unfortunately, no one, not even the Traveler, was able to resonate with the vision. Kazuha then spent some time roaming Liyue to see if anyone was able to, but he was unable to find anyone who was compatible. In time, he was recalled to the Crux for the trip to Inazuma. In a cutscene during the Archon Quest, Kazuha is seen wearing his friend's masterless vision next to his own Animo vision. When the Traveler suddenly gets attacked before his eyes by the Raiden Shogun, the masterless vision rekindles into the electro vision it once was while Kazuha's friend's words resonate once more. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. <laughs> This second vision allows Kazuha to harness both the power of Animo and Electro at once, which he uses to successfully block the Shogun's attack, saving the Traveler. The Electro vision is then sent flying by the Shogun's blade, falling to the floor and deactivating once again. After the Traveler resolves the situation with the Raiden Shogun and the vision hunt decree ends, Kazuha approaches Kujosara. He asks her to sell the confiscated possessions of his clan and donate the proceeds to the poor, to which she agrees. Afterwards, Kazuha decides to visit his friend's sword, which can be found in a small ravine northeast of the Grand Narukami Shrine. He decided to return his friend's masterless vision next to the sword. After completing the Archon quest, a white cat can be seen near the mound. This is most likely the friend's cat that is waiting day after day, night after night, for his master to come home. When asked what Kazuha had planned for the next chapter of his life, he had only one response. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to Kazuha's story. If you could take a second to hit the like button, it really helps me out. Let me know down below in the comments what character you'd like me to talk about next, and feel free to check out some of these other videos too.